class get started. All right, um, Barry's been kind enough to let us bump him a little bit, and I was checking with Ian to make sure we're right on this. So both um, Asher's Place and Meals on Wheels will still constitute coming to budget every year because they're going to be considered parts that are a governmental function still, so they don't go to the, the fall kind of pool in the fight for those money, so they're separate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm here for Meals on Wheels, of course. I'm sure y'all realize it's been a tough time. Be way off, could be a lot more or less. We have a lot more activity, which 
may help us, especially when it leaks. If you own a boat, which will be a big advancement that size. Um, the other one he said it's going to affect, I think he said more towards some of the tourism places they think and some of the rural. We're not quite as rural. So the thing is, we may need to discuss the revenue to see if we think the number is too low or too high before we. Yes, ma'am, and it's the about. Yes, and that's if we take 19 and we less off without 19 collection, 37 and a half percent. That number was just a generality. Numbers are also significantly affected because of the recent shutdown, right? So no, no, no. We're well, I'm, 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 fiscal year 1890. 1890. Oh, 1890. Yeah, that was our last year closed. And if you also think, right. when was the inspection? August 21st, 2017. So that wouldn't have affected, because that's something else. 18 p.m. That <laughs> <laughs> so, 18, so, so, what we're, so what my point being is 18 and 19 fiscal year should be a pretty regular year. If it was the year before, it's inflated because of the eclipse. Eclipse inflated you guys. But thank you. I'm, 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 I'm just going to stop. You've done a good job. You've done the best you can do. We, tourism passed this budget. Just, we don't know what it's going to be. It could be a quarter of what it was, it could be 75%. It's all over the place. Let's just leave it alone. Okay. I just want to get Barry's thought on the revenue well, reasonably. I'll tell you, April is going to be ugly. April will be the lowest of the low. But I, I do have good news in that the last few weeks, we've been talking to the hotels, and I've been driving by the hotels <laughs> every night. Uh, and it looks like we're getting an uptick in, in business uh, here in the last couple of weeks. So I think it is going to slowly come back. Uh, if nothing else happens, I don't know what. But... Uh, uh, you know, we, uh, as Anthony mentioned, we had an emergency tourism board meeting uh, yesterday. Uh, we we cut, we cut, we cut some more, and then we cut some more after that. And uh, we got down to that 586-058 number. Uh, I do have some other news, uh, Chris, and I do appreciate y'all's support. But because of, of course, the minute the COVID started, we kind of implemented a spending freeze. I mean, we, we still did things, but only things that were necessary, let's put it that way. Uh, and then with some canceled events, we feel like we're going to be able to absorb the fishing tournament and the uh, dock repair with what we have. So we're not going to ask you for anything extra. We understand that y'all are in a tight situation, as we all are. So we're not going to ask for anything extra, but if we can get that 586, that 058, we're going to try to survive this year. That's what I'm saying. I mean, for tourism, you're on there, Leslie. No, well, she used to be. Used to be. I'm Scott. You are the yeah. end. No, no. She's just a middle. Listen, we know all about it, though. <laughs> when, when uh, Barry, I, I just think Barry's a Barry does job. a phenomenal job. His board does a phenomenal Barry job, and I don't think anybody questions that. With the uncertainty, though, one other item. Since our budget's 586, and we feel it's probably highly probably, it could come in less, but can we say that's what Barry's getting? Yes, Barry's getting. At least 586, even if the revenue's coming in slightly short. Yes, yeah, so okay. they can leave some are you sure? I know the, the, the doc was one we got to talk to. It's probably not happening to pay for it. Hey, got it worked out. I think we I'll think we got right. a problem. I, I'll we'll do right. But I'd like to come back, just like you said, if we find an event that yeah. could really help us, or if, if God forbid, we have a relapse of the COVID, you know, things get really, really tough. We want to be able to come back and say, look, we got to keep operating. And Barry, as a board, we are all in favor of that. I know in the past, we've always said, don't come to us unless it's budget season. But we understand that it's different times, and we are all in support of that. That's not just a, a chairman decision. We are all in agreement with that. So you're, we're we, want to we, we feel like we're going to be very important in the, in the rebound with the economy. And uh, if, if, if more than the 586 comes in, are we... Able to get that extra. Yeah, well, you're tied. You're tied 100. Yeah. So that's that's, that's the discussion we need to have. And that's what we talked about. We, over the past I five know, years, we've tried to hard on budget to establish permanent revenue, sources for, things, like permanent revenue source sports, sources for things like the permanent revenue source for sports under is the Andrew Shopper High School Fund. So we've said that that's what it is. You know, higher low. And what we're trying to do is establish a permanent revenue source for you, which is the Hunkel Hotel. It's down right now. We'll do 100, percent but my intention, and I was going to bring up to everybody if we're all comfortable with it, is to leave that. That's your revenue source. So in a good year, 
that's a good year we can maybe you can maybe do extra with it, knowing that maybe every year isn't going to be that. I'm, I like to do us that way, so that way we know that's what you have. That is the way Yes, so I'd like to. Yeah, that's the way it was so, always intended to begin with. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. I remember you saying that a long time ago. It is that everybody in here is three forty. You want us to reserve on the time on the next one? Well, and the story behind that was in your beer fall. That's when the Great Recession hit. They were scrambling for revenue. They took it out. Now the Great Pandemics hit, and we're giving it all back. So I mean, it's 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 okay and, and Barry's done an excellent job in tourism board by working on it and making sure that we're going to fund the proper things the docks got to be fixed we're going to take care of that and so he's team player and he understands so when times come back i agree completely we need to fund it that, what? Just, yeah. thank, you. thank you very much it's out at Bullfoot Creek, or otherwise known as Flippers. We have three docks out there that have that were put in by the county. The county paid, I think, like thirty thousand dollars. This was like twenty years ago, and now they're in disrepair, and we need to put a new surface on there because it's getting dangerous, and we we don't want to allow the people getting hurt on there. It's, it's, it, the core is really for us to do. It needs to be done because if we ever lose that surface, we probably could never get that back. Was there? Uh, you may have said this. Of all the events that's been canceled and, and, and what looking into the rest of 20, end of 21, is there any of the big events on the ground that are not canceled? Uh, well, the, we've got two fishing tournaments that are smaller tournaments of June 20th. We're hoping to pull those off. We've, we've talked to the state and they said it's fine. Fishing is a, approved by the governor, you know. Uh, July is a crucial month because we've got a lot of big baseball and softball with like I'm talking about more than 100 teams coming in from out of town. Uh, and right now they're still on and we're hoping, you know, the governor came out last week with this recreational sports and baseball and softball are in the approved list. So we're hoping we can still have those. Now lacrosse, the, we had a big lacrosse America uh, tournament that got canceled. I don't think lacrosse is, I think it's more of a physical sport. They bump into each other and all that stuff. So, of course, they do in baseball and softball, too, at the home plate. But I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, um, uh, we're hoping the baseball and softball is going to keep going and the fishing. I mean, uh, fishing and the baseball and softball has been our bread and butter the last five years anyway. Uh, that brings in a lot of out-of-town folks. And, well, to answer your question, uh, pardon me, I just remembered. We did, uh, Hendersonville did get the bid on the middle school state softball and baseball tournaments. It's in the spring. And we have committed to them that we're going to give them sponsorship money. And we're also going to have, well, our staff's going to be there to help work. Spring of 2021. This coming spring. Yes, sir. A, a year from now. Uh, we, we have the bid for that. So, I, you know, I don't know. I put some money in the budget for that. I don't know if that's enough yet at this point. I've been I've been moving money around so much. I'm not really sure, but but that's coming, and we're and we're hoping to get the state uh, golf tournament here in the next couple of years. Uh, we're working on that. Yes, sir. Um, with all your and I'm I'm begging you right here this discussion. I'm just throw it out there publicly. Like, Dr. Phillips and or Compass, of, of, uh, especially with the, the couple of new buildings that you've added in the last uh, five, six years, of, of getting more active with our schools. Where, you know, we send those fourth graders, 2004 graders every year to Rock Castle. Right. Oh, yeah. We talked to some time museum about getting galloping kids to come to that. And, and, and possibly setting up a tour. For a certain grade, whatever grade we deem would be appropriate, where they visit maybe the Douglas Clark House, where they stop by and visit the Sumner County Museum. Absolutely. One last thing. Because I'm not stressed out with my new ambient every now and then. I want to thank you because a lot of times I can't sleep. I go, your flies. Not shit. Oh, yeah, I, just, I love watching some of those. Uh, I haven't been able to sleep lately either. Oh, hey, Barry, can you give me a list of 
appropriate places that you think could be included in that torn email it to me, that would be awesome. What grade are you talking about? Probably third oh, goes there. It'd be grade fourth grade goes Rock Castle. But so third or fourth, maybe even fifth. Elementary, yeah, for sure elementary. About, you know, yeah, and just email those to me. And I'm going to try to get them anyway. Awesome. <laughs> Take a big breath. <laughs> and what we told everybody is as the year goes on, and obviously for it's more for county employees, we'll review the funding, and if we get better funding models and revenue models, um, obviously we'll keep going along with that. And if for some reason there's a large uptick in the hotel motel, obviously we want to make sure that you're aware of that. I mean, I know you'd be aware of it, start working towards getting that. Sure. Of course, I guess y'all know that we are in a better position than some. As David mentioned, we've got a lake. We've got a lot of parks and we've got historic sites and things that people can do outdoors. So we feel like that's what we're keying on right now to try to get people back, is to get them to the outdoors, uh, hiking, biking, you know, all those things we have. So that's that's a good advantage that we have. Uh, and like I said, I am a little bit encouraged that here the last few weeks, the last month, there has been an uptick in hotel stays. Now, I don't have any numbers yet, and I can tell you that the April is going to be horrible. Uh, but that was the that was the low part of everything. Does anybody have anything else for Barry? Thank you very much. Y'all have a good day. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.